Robert Dene. I'm the director of the Center for Design Research at the School of Architecture and Design at Virginia Tech. And behind me is our Lumen House, our entry into the Solar Decathlon competition. The origin of this house is primarily responsive architecture. We've done this project twice before, in 2002 and 2005, and each one of these, these houses is a der derivation of the previous one. This one has sophistication in terms of technology that our 2005 house didn't quite achieve. So we're looking to do something different this time. So what we've got is a theme called responsive architecture. And that is a condition where the house is essentially a pavilion. So it's open to the exterior. So there's a seamless transition between interior and exterior, allowing for a much smaller space to see, a smaller space to see much larger than it actually is in square footage. This has two, two um, big potentials. One is it saves energy because we're heating and cooling a small body. At the second time, it really provides a quality of life that you really don't find in most single-family houses because you have access to a seamless transition between inside and outside. In conjunction with that, we have a sophisticated technology that starts with a weather station. The weather station receives data. It sends data to the computer. The computer sorts out this data in terms of what's the optimized position for different systems on the house. There's a shutter panel, an insulation panel, a glass wall, and a curtain system. And the computer will decide what's the best energy use at that period of time based on what's happening outside. On the other hand, the owner can select to override the computer if they find they want a different kind of space. And they will be able to use their iPhone. So you'll be able to go on your iPhone, click on My House icon, and then on that icon will pop up all the different systems which you can specifically control. In another window, you'll be able to access every piece of equipment that's using electricity, and you'll be able to see in real time how much of that electricity um, is being used. This is the other side of the competition, because in part it's about building beautiful dwellings such as the Lumen House, but at the same time just providing information to the public about um, energy and different applications of energy. Therefore, this iPhone application will allow users to see um, what uses they're, they're dealing with at any given moment, and how they can economize with that, with that use of that appliance. Um, great. And what, one of the striking features of this house... They're okay. One of the uh, striking features of the house is this sort of exterior grill work. What uh, role does that play in the overall system? The, the identity of the house is going to be this outer layer, which is part of what we call the Eclipsis system. This outer layer is a stainless steel laser cut panel that really is 2,000 years old because it's essentially a shutter. Um, it's been used in the Middle East both in terms of climate and also in terms of society, and we are using it that way also. Its main function from a technical point of view is to keep the summer sun off the southern facade. At the same time, it provides a beautiful kind of light coming through. It'll be a dappled kind of light, almost as if it's the underside of a tree sprinkling on, onto the floor of the house, so it gives a kind of architectural space that you wouldn't have otherwise. The third element that it, that it does is that it also provides privacy and view. So it blocks certain areas in terms of um, being able to see in or see out. At other times, strategic areas are completely open with the, with the way the, the, the you know, tabs on the panels are folded, allowing a direct contact with the inside and outside. Interesting. And the, the other feature that sort of jumps out at me, at least, is the landscaping. Is the landscaping tied into the design of the house? We've worked with a number of different disciplines, and one obvious one is landscape architecture. Um, and we thought that the landscape really is one with the architecture. They're not two separate enterprises. So our landscape students and architecture students have been working together closely. And the idea is that the landscape both is an extension of the architecture. At the same time, it is also a technical feature, because it will act as a filtration system, taking the gray water from the house, filtering it for reuse later on. Great. Um.